Hello everybody, it's a Vertical Sandwich! Welcome back to Let's Play SteamWorld Dig! In our last video, we made it to the bottom of the mine. That door might well hold what you've come here for. If there are three barriers, there should be three generators, right? You'll need to locate all of them. How about taking a look in the upper layers, too? Might be what's been riling the creatures, so... The critters, so... Alright, upgrade! Damage reduction! Evan, look at that desert flower running the exchange shop. A bit unsophisticated, perhaps. Though with check cheek blades like that, all she needs is a bit of polish. I might be able to finesse this place into proper society after all. Alright. Damage reduction is three thousand dollars and ten orbs. Sold. Like just sold. We will also buy hydraulic fluid. And now we're out of orbs. But we have almost everything. Uh, can we get anything else? I think we bought out Cranky. That door might be the way to unimaginable, ri unimaginable riches. Minerals pressed into the most fantastic materials. Alright, well we can get the silver pickaxe. Now there's a gold pickaxe that we cannot afford. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go back where we came from. Uh, I just did that. I I just did that as a vendetta. To I mean, that guy had to go. So we saw there's a cave right around here. Hmm. Nice. All right. No. Ugh! That was kind of painful. Okay. And at least we can go back to town and buy some health. And I guess a teleporter if we needed it. I don't think I can hit it from here. Would have been nice, but... Do I have to reset this? Can I reset this cave? Can. That's all I needed. All right. So that did take care of one of them.
Oh, maybe Joe wanted you to open it. That's why he sent you the deed. Could be some horrible power on the other side of it. Well, yeah, okay. I'll have that. I think we're good. Oh, I suppose I can buy this now. We can't get the platinum one yet. But, uh, we are going back to old areas. So, one of the things we can do is just come back in here. And we can see that there's a highlighted area down here. And anything we missed along the way, we can get way easier now by just blowing up the world. All right. Okay, I see an orb over there. There we go. Alright, and there's a secret area up here. This area actually is always up here, and you can, once you get dynamite, you can damage boost up here. And as you can see, the stuff in here is actually... You know, it expects you to get here late game. So, yeah, there's stuff like this dynamite. Oh, we need it. We need the water. What was I thinking? You weren't vertical sandwich! I wasn't at all. I completely forgot I was playing this game. Okay. Oh, yeah, these guys. No. And these later game areas will actually, you know... I like this, by the way, that, that platform flying over like that. That's cute. It's cute that it works that way. Alright, I think we have to do this this way. That goes that way, that goes that way, right. And then we can just punch that once. And we destroyed that generator, so that's a thing. But... Yeah, is that is I think that might be it actually for this area. So that's cool. We'll get some more water. And now we can just head back down. And now we go. Now we can if you want, if you if you really missed a lot of stuff here. And you really think it's worth your time. It's probably not, considering the value of stuff we can get in later levels. You can just go through here with the map and check. We can go into some of these caves because I think some of them had things that... Like, this would be... This is how you were supposed to ac access this. Like, is with either the double jump or the steam jump. Usually, the I mean, the steam jump is really what they expect you to have. And we can just look. Um, the, the thing about going back through here is it may be worth your time for one reason and one reason only. And, uh, and that's uh, orbs. If you missed orbs, uh, they're worth picking up. Because, you know, orbs are... Oh, look at this. You remember these guys and how we... Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. All I need is a space. Oh, it would have been nicer to get them all at one shot. I mean, $25 is nothing to sneeze at, but it's... You know, it's not a game changer at this point in the game.
But man, we really could have used it a while back. So, like I said, we're just going to go through here, check out some caves. One shot that guy. Okay, there's nothing for us to get out of there. Uh, these caves don't usually need to be revisited. And then this is the way to the second area. Wonder what's behind that door. You, okay. So we can buy a platinum pickaxe now. And that cleans out this shop. So we have a thousand dollars. Maybe there's something we can buy from uh, Dandy. The Garnet Pickaxe or Plasma Lantern. All right, Emerald Pickaxe. You do have to wonder how Joe did all this on his own. All right, so now we can go back down to uh, the second area of the game. And we can see we left a lot of stuff in here. Really? Fine. I can't believe that those are un unbreakable even with this like super punch that I have. All right, that's pretty that was pretty good cleanup actually. That's nice. I like that. Wasn't even paying attention. Wasn't even looking at the screen. Was looking at the map on the side. I swear there's... You know what? We should be double checking these caves. Because wasn't there like a cave we couldn't do anything in or something? Wasn't this one. But that was kind of fun. Well, the next cave is way up there. We might have missed an entire cave, for all I know. Like, I haven't played this all recently. No, we, we didn't we didn't mess, miss anything in there. Like I said, in SteamWorld Dig 2, uh, there's a check mark over caves you've completed. It's It was a nice touch. Wow, I can't believe he actually took the damage there and served. Okay, we did that one. That guy's going to fall all the way down to who knows where. Alright, and there's a cave we didn't even go in.
Right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, that's worth a hundred dollars. That's kind of good. But yeah, we could have had these orbs wait earlier and stuff. Man. Man. There we go. And there's that. Cool. I mean, we still have to go further down, but... Huh. I wasn't expecting that. No room! I suppose we could use a teleporter, or we could go all the way back up to the... Because, I mean, we can travel. We can go vertically as as far as we want. I mean, there's nothing... There's nothing about this level that's going to break our ability to move. Not with a double jump and steam jump and all these other things. You'd think. I need water anyway. Really? There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> Alright, Ruby Pickaxe is 600. We don't have enough for that. When we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.